What's up? What's up? What's up? This your boy Zeke Dog, and I'm back with another video. So, man, I'm uh, I'm driving today, man. A lot of road, a lot of highways, and uh, I've been having this this idea, this thought that something I wanted to talk about. One, uh, pretty much what it is is uh, blue collar versus white collar. Me leaving white collar to come to a blue collar job. Alright, as y'all know, Zeke Dog had a pretty uh laid back white collar job before uh this guy's hitting his his tires with a hammer in his flip flops. You know what? I ain't even finna uh I ain't even finna go there. Zeke Dog ain't even finna go there. I'ma let him his flip flops stay happy, stay content. And, uh, <laughs> man, I'm not finna go there about his flip-flop. I know some people talk about flip-flops, but, like I said, I wear flip-flops, but I don't wear them. Oh, well, thank you. He's nice enough to bag back for me. I appreciate you, fella. Thank you, big dog, with the flip-flops. So, uh, <clears throat> man, white collar job. They're good to have. I promise you. Uh, the perks or benefits that you get uh, with a white collar job is awesome and uh, the example I'm going to give is with me I worked from home I didn't have to spend any money on fuel to go to work and when I did have to get out and travel I had a work car that I could drive around. Government vehicle. No personal fuel I got to put in there. That's all their fuel, their mileage, their wear and tear. All of that was on them. Now, uh, just a little comparison. <laughs> Blue collar. Man, all this fuel is on me. This fuel is on Zeke, dog. Uh, let's see what this traffic looking like merging in. Zeke, dog, coming through. Get out the way, baby. I'm clear. And I got one more dude rolling up pretty fast. I'm going to change lanes as soon as he come on through here. All right, Mr. Toyota, man. Come on. But, uh, yeah, on the flip side, man, blue collar, I'm having to uh, use my own fuel again. To the extreme, because this job or this, <laughs> this path I'm on now is all fuel. Fuel is part of what I do. So uh, just, just knowing that going from white collar to blue collar, that's one 
one big change. Uh, another change is time off. Now, my white collar job, uh, like I said, I was government employee, GS level. We occurred, uh, I think it was, it was six, uh, six hours of personal leave every two weeks. And I also occurred four hours of sick leave every two weeks. Now, because I worked from home, I really didn't have to Z my link. I see you, man. That was um, <laughs> Mr. Flip Flop dude, man. Appreciate you, buddy. Um, hold on in. Um, what was I saying? Something regarding uh, man, what the heck was I talking about? Sorry. <clears throat> oh yeah, I had to get my train of thought back. So. I'm a Karen artist leave and working from home, man, you ain't really just gotta take leave. I mean, you get little breaks throughout the day, you know, 15 minute break here. You can run, go do something that you need to do. You on a 15 minute break. Uh, you want time off, you wanna be somewhere. There, there was almost no time that I was denied my leave except around Christmas and Thanksgiving. They uh, wanted to try to split it up to make sure that if you was off of Christmas, then the next person need to be off of Thanksgiving or vice versa. Uh, when it comes to trucking on the blue collar side, they pretty much have you working. You can, you can ask for days off uh, on the company side, but I'm sure it's a little more difficult to get off on a Tuesday morning between 9 and 12 so you can go to your, your doctor appointment or dentist appointment or whatever. Big difference. And there are probably going to be other blue collar jobs that you're going to say, Zeke, well, I work blue collar and I can take off. Man, y'all know I'm talking about blue collar trucking. Come on, man. Get it together. We talking about blue collar, parenthesis, trucking. So, uh, <laughs> that's, that's the difference, man. Just being able to be off is, is, uh, is different out here. Also, being home, white collar, man. I, I mean, literally, I worked from home. I was home every day. Man, I, I, I had so much time at home to where my home is and was my castle. I lived in my home. I got out, but home was always there. Home was always available. You're going to be home. In my bed every night, I wanted to be, unless I'm out of town, traveling. On the opposite side, blue collar, trucking. Man, home time is few and in between. I think I'm going to probably be able to count the amount of days that I actually was home. <laughs> was actually home this year. And it ain't going to be a whole lot. Because some of the home time, I'm not actually going to be at home. Like I'm going to be in Vegas coming up. Uh, I was in uh, Georgia a couple weeks ago. So sometimes home time is not at home. So the difference between white collar and blue collar is home time. White collar, you got way more home time. You are, uh, you look at another difference between white collar and blue collar. Trucking, parenthesis. <laughs> It's going to be uh, the hours that you actually work. 
Now, I'm going to tell you this. I only work the hours they paid me for with my government job. And they better hope they had got all of those. You work a 40-hour week. Not 40.05. Not 42. 40 even. And then you could even get your schedule set up to where you are. Uh, every other week you had an extra day off. You could do like a, a nine hour day instead of a, a, a eight hour day. And then every uh, two weeks you get an extra day off. So you have that availability. Now it gives you an automatic three day weekend. And uh, that's nice. You get a three day weekend, you don't have to do nothing extra. 40 hours, that's it. Trucking, man, I'm gonna tell you this. My 70 hour clock, I will run my 70 hour clock all the way down to where I got minutes left on that baby when I shut it down for the week. Like literal minutes. Matter of fact, it may be seconds left. My DOT clock be over here smoking. I, I can see it about to burst into flames. It, it be over here sizzling, beeping and everything. All right, Zeke Dog, time to shut it down. You, you uh, got too many hours. But uh, that's another big difference between uh, DO, I say DOT, between white collar and blue collar. Now, here's the part that I like. White collar, blue collar, your pay can be significantly higher on the blue collar side. Can be. In my situation, it is going to be. <laughs> it's definitely going to be. I was pretty much capped at my GS pay scale, and that scale only increased. Uh, you're on it. Only increase by a small amount every two years. But with uh with blue collar, oh man, I'm I'm gonna be on track this year to make. Well, I'm gonna say make. I'm gonna bring in. Let's let's just look at revenue. Hundreds of thousand in revenue, and then I'm gonna minus off expenses. Y'all will find out what I made this year in 2020. Three, uh, definitely what I did for the whole year, but um, yeah, this man, it's like a day and night difference. But you do have some white collar jobs, some high end executive jobs that's gonna pay you really good, like great, great lifestyle, good money. You'll be, I mean, yeah, technically, you'll be rich, you can be very wealthy working white collar but a lot of the white collar jobs especially government jobs you just gonna be all right you're gonna be above average you're gonna be upper middle class but that's all you're gonna be so that's the difference between white collar and blue collar parentheses trucking <laughs> big difference now another difference is requirements to get into that white collar job and requirements to get into that blue collar job you need a lot less educational background I'm not saying you got to be stupid that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is a lot of the federal jobs, a bachelor degree at a minimum is required. I've seen where some require a master's degree. Now, when you look over at blue collar trucking job, the majority I look and see ask you if you have a GED or a high school diploma. I have not seen one trucking job that asked if you had a master's degree. 
If so, I probably would have applied for it. <laughs> That's a big difference. So, uh, I'm going to wrap it up, though. And I'm going to say, on a white-collar job, you got security. You got a safety net. You got the ability to know precisely what your income is going to be every week. You got great health insurance. You can be happy working that white-collar job. You go in, you sit at your nice little cubicle. Man, you can put all kind of decorations and military old pictures and, and football stuff up on your desk and decorate it. Get your name badge put on your desk. Uh, get you a nice chair that massages. Get you a desk that raises up so you can stand up and type sometime. You can have a great white collar job and be happy. But on the other side with the blue collar, you can have a great blue collar trucking career business and be happy as well. Extremely happy. Zeke stay happy. I ain't gonna lie. I miss being home, yes. But the freedom that I have with this job, waking up in the morning, planning my route, checking to make sure that I'm getting to the places I need to get to on time, knowing that once I drop this load off, that's money in the bank. I don't worry about health insurance on this side because I already got it. It's taken care of by my spouse. My wife covers the insurance to include me also having uh, my TRICARE and VA insurance. So insurance, I don't worry about that. Everybody doesn't have that benefit, but I don't worry about insurance. I do sometimes be concerned about what I'm bringing in every week. Every week is different, <laughs> dramatically different, depending on how much you want to run or if you want to go home, especially if you are in an independent contractor uh, position such as I. I can go home, but I can also lose out on money when I do go home. Have I did it? Yup. Do I regret it? Nope. It was a decision I made. And as a man, you're going to make decisions sometimes. That's just what you want to do. And I've said it a lot of times. Sometimes it ain't about the money. I just want to do what I want to do. And if I want to go home when I want to go home, and I don't get the money that week, that's fine. I don't think the bill is going to be paid. In, in, in advance. <laughs> Not even on the last minute. They are already paid. Paid up. Ready for the next uh, billing cycle to come out. But I'm happy. It's uh, There's a lot less pressure from the demands of having reports done and uh, quality and service and blah, blah, blah. All these little standards that they try to hold you to on these government jobs man I ain't gonna lie I, I was just burnt out I was tired of it 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 wasn't even healthy for me to be that burnt out and tired of the government job now could it have been other factors such as supervisors and the actual position I was in yeah but making the choice to come out here to blue collar trucking Man, I love it. I absolutely freaking lutely love it. So, uh, man, I hope y'all like my little comparison between white collar and blue collar, uh, parentheses, trucking. Because <laughs> I know y'all gonna come back with like, Zeke, man, I work at the steel mill or I do this because I got buddies that work at a steel mill. I'm talking about banking. Banking, banking, making great money. They put in a lot of hours, but they get a lot of time at home too because they at home. 
but there are some minor differences between blue collar and white collar. Would I trade anything? Would I go back? Nope. I'm happy with where I'm at. I'm happy with what I'm doing. And I'm going to keep this job or keep this thing rolling. So, man, appreciate y'all checking out my videos, man. Like, share, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell and join the dog team, man. So until the next time, baby, keep it trucking.